What's up guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. As the title suggests, I'm going to show you guys how to speed ramp in Premiere Pro, making it more realistic by adding directional blur. A lot of you guys might already know what speed ramping is, you might already use speed ramping, but I'm going to show you how to improve on a speed ramp and make it more realistic. Because as we all know, fast motion to our eyes has motion blur. So when we do the speed ramp effect in Premiere Pro, we're going to add a directional blur to the effect, which will simulate a similar kind of thing to how your eyes see fast motion. So what I'm going to do now is show you a clip with the speed ramp effect without directional blur and then I'm going to show you the same again straight after with directional blur then you'll see it's about a hundred times better. So here is the speed ramp without any directional blur as you can see it's quite sharp and unnatural. So let's do that again with the directional blur. You can see it is much smoother and more realistic. Okay let's do it again with a sound effect to make it more convincing. And there you have a more natural looking speed ramp. Okay guys, once again let's jump into the world of Premiere Pro. So guys, what you want to do is place your video clip onto the timeline. As you can see here, I'm using the same clip as I used in the preview not so long ago. First of all, you want to find where you want to start your speed ramp. So I'm looking to start it roughly around about here. And to work with your speed ramp within the timeline, all you have to do is right click on this effects icon go down to time remapping and then speed this then allows you to press control if you're on a windows computer i think it's options on a mac um, it gives you a little plus sign and then you can click on this line and it gives you a keyframe then you want to determine where you want to finish your speed ramp so i'm going to choose roughly around here do the same again, control and click. Anything in, in between these two keyframes is what will speed up. To do that, you click on the line and you hold and drag it up. I'm going to take this up to about a thousand percent. And then if we take a look at that, It's a very sharp and abrupt transition from its normal speed to the fast speed and back again. So to smoothen this out, you can click on these little keyframes and that's where you get your ramps. And then to further improve on them to make them really smooth, if you click on one of the keyframes there, it brings these little handles up, you can click and twist them round and that will give your ease in and out, a nice smooth curve. Do the same on this side, nice and smooth, just play that back, you see it's much smoother. I actually want to go a little bit faster than that, as you can see I'm at a thousand percent and you can't go up anymore. The workaround for this is you right click on your video track and nest it. And what this does, it allows you to repeat the process you can then speed ramp the nested track as well so again right click on the effects icon time remapping and speed unfortunately because you've nested your video you can't see where you have done the previous speed ramp so we all have to just estimate roughly where it starts and finishes so to do that I just just play it a few times so I think roughly around about there Add my keyframe, I think I'll do it there. I'm only going to bump it up a tiny bit, put my ramps in, ease in and out, and just play that back. That's better. But if you look, it still looks very unnatural without the motion blur. So to do the motion blur, I found the best way to do this is to is to create 
a adjustment layer. So if we click down here on this little paper with a fold in it, new item, then go to adjustment layer, click OK, and you can drag and drop that onto your timeline above your video clip. And then we'll make this adjustment layer to span across where we have our speed ramp, like so. And then what we're going to do is type in the search directional blur and under the blur and sharpen folder there you can see directional blur if you drag and drop that onto your adjustment layer this should then fall into your effect controls so just to start off we're going to roughly place some keyframes because we want to ease the blur in and out at the very beginning we'll click on the stopwatch to toggle on the animation we want the blur to be zero Go somewhere in the middle, we'll add a keyframe, and then we'll go to the end, add a keyframe, if we go back to the middle one, and then we're going to put the motion blur to something like 35 we'll try, and then if you look here you can see that the directional blur is currently set to 0 degrees which is a vertical direction, so what we want is to have the directional blur going in the same direction as the motion of the video. If we just hide the adjustment layer for a second, we can see that our motion of the camera is going from the bottom left corner up to the top right. So we put this layer back on. We don't want to animate the direction, so we'll click on the drop down to bring up this little wheel, and we could pick something like I say about 38, 38 degrees. Okay, so now we've got the directional blur applied to the speed ramp. So it's very smooth, more natural looking, but you may not have noticed that there's a problem. So as the directional blur fades in, it gives this feathered black outline. So the stronger the blur, the more black that is visible. And then as the blur disappears, so does the black edge. So basically the fix for this is to fill in the background so there will be no black visible. So what we're going to do is nudge these two tracks up. We are then going to copy and paste the video track and drop it below. So now this is underneath. The adjustment layer is still affecting both of these tracks but we only want it to affect the top track. So we get a nice directional blur on this top track but we don't want any directional blur on the track below it. All we have to do is select the adjustment layer and the top video layer, right click and nest. Now the adjustment layer is only going to affect the video track that's inside this nest. So now if you play it again, there's no black feathered edge. Perfectly seamless speed ramp with directional blur. All we need to do now to finish this off is to add the sound effect to make it more convincing. So here I have a sound effect of a whooshing sound and all we've got to do is line it up. So that's it from me today guys. I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope you followed along okay. If there's anything you'd like me to do in a Premiere Pro tutorial, After Effects tutorial or some camera techniques, please leave it in the comments below. I'll be happy to do that for you. Don't forget to like the videos if you do like them. Please subscribe and make sure you press the bell button so you get a notification when we upload. So guys, I'll catch you next time.